Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. So in this video, we're going to see how to run our test script with the help of NPM. We are going to say like NPM run test and that should trigger our protected test script. So far, we are running our test script with the help of protector then followed by the protector config file name, right? That's fine, but when we are going to run our test script with the help of CI CD, that is like Jenkins, then of course I cannot use the protector because in the Jenkins, whenever we run our test script, first of all, we have to make sure that we have all the dependencies. For that, of course, we have to use the npm install command. And after that, we have to update our Chrome driver, the Chrome or the Firefox binary file as well. And once that is updated, then we have to run our test script with the help of a node package manager, that is npm. Now let's see how to do that. And trust me, it's going to be very, very simple and easy to understand as well. So before getting into the real concept, let me just give you a brief like what we have. So within this test-ts file, we have the signin.spec.ts sign file. Of course, everything is in TypeScript now. So we have moved from the JavaScript to the TypeScript. And also we have learned how to write our test script with the help of page of the model using the TypeScript, right? So here I have this before all where I'm just maximizing my browser and I'm setting the implicit weight. And then before each and every functions, I'm just loading the URL. So here I am using this browser.params.environment that is coming from my config file, right? So here I have this param, params, and within this environment variable, that is custom variable, it can be anything. It can be your name, my name, ab, like that. And after that, before each and every uh, test case, I'm just clicking on this login. I believe you remember this test case that is uh, to log in, uh, to validate that login is a, we are able to log in successfully. And if there is a mismatch in the email and password, login should fail. For that, we have two test cases, right? So very simple test, uh, but of course we learned the page object model with this test case, right? So let's see how to run this test case with the help of NPM now. So first of all, go to your package.json and here we have this script, right? And here we have this test. We are going to use the same test, but instead of this one, so we'll just remove this one. We'll say like double equals. I mean double quotes and within that we will call our uh, regular commands that is protector then followed by the config file name okay so here I will say protector then followed by protector dot conf dot js okay so if you have just conf dot js you can call that or whatever the file name the configuration file you have you have to call that and before that we have to say protector okay so this is my protector.conf.js that is what we have that is what I have called here right but let me tell you one thing okay so let's open our terminal control J and then I'm going to say npm node package manager run and then followed by test so test is nothing but this one so within the script tag I'm calling this test so that is what here right and run is basically to trigger that script command now let's click on enter it is going to fail actually Yes, so as expected, it is failed. The reason is very simple. If I go back here, you can see that it says that uh, WebDriver Manager hyphen we need to run first to download all the binaries. But still, so far, we are using this protector, protector.conf.js, and we are able to run that, right? So you have to understand the way the NPM works. So we have two things one is the app data folder where we have stored all our libraries in the global. And then we have this node modules within the package or within the project itself. So when I have to run my test script with the help of node, I have to make sure that within this node modules, within my project level, the node modules also contains all the binary files. Okay. So if I say like webdriver hyphen manager update, that's not going to work because that will be reflected in my app data folder. That is the global thing. But here I have to be very specific that I want to download all my binaries within my project folder to do that we are again going to use the npm script tag here right so within the script i am going to again say something called like update these are not just keywords it can be anything uh, but make sure it's understandable by everyone okay so and then i will say like um web driver hyphen manager and then followed by update okay so what is the difference now so the difference is we should we are going to call this webdriver dash manager space update 
but with the help of npf okay so before running this test we have to run this command okay so let's open our terminal again i'm just going to clear it up and i'm going to say npm run and then followed by update so now this command is actually going to trigger the webdriver dash manager update and it's going to download all the binaries like the chrome and the firefox so here you can see we are able to download the binary files after that i'm going to say npm run test so now this is actually going to call my protector conf.js and within the js file i have uh, configured like what is the things we have to run based on that is working right now here i have a problem it says that session not created because the chrome driver supports only version 87 that means there is a mismatch in the browser version and the driver so protected download the latest one that is 87 but i believe i have a browser that is of 86 so let's go to the help and about google chrome and yeah so it says 86 but you can see it's now actually getting updated so make sure the driver and the browser versions are going to be exactly same the major version right so let's wait until it's get updated and then of course it's going to run so let's relaunch our browser and now the version is 87 so i believe our test kit should also run so let's check that okay so successfully our test script has started to run the browser got maximized and uh, then rest of the code is going to work for sure i believe okay so let's see okay so it's running the second test script i mean second test scenario the spec block and after that uh, it's going to run the third one and the browser should get closed i believe so yeah so it's run the second one now it's think it should run the third one and then it should close the browser yeah so test script got successful and we got three specs zero failure and of course we are able to run our test script with the help of npm so the major difference why we are using this npm instead of the protector and followed by the config file because in our upcoming tutorials we are going to learn about the jenkins where this is the prerequisite so we have to learn about the npm the script how it's the package.json file is actually helping us right so if you remember i have described this package.json in detail in the typescript configuration the ts config as well as the package json it's very simple we have only name version description uh, main is not we are using this is like uh, for the dev team so we are not interested on this what we are interested on this dependencies that is where we are saying like what are the modules or the package we have to install in our system and make use of it right and then we have the script so we have started to use the script tag from now onwards so hereafter everything is going to be like npm run test or run update okay and keywords are just for the git purpose nothing much here author just to make sure it's my code that's it nothing much here okay so it's very simple uh, there are few benefits as well so before running the test if you have a preconditions we can use that if you have a post condition you can use that with the help of package.json that we are going to learn from the next video okay so that's it for this video i hope you have enjoyed the video and if you learn something new probably you can just do let me know in the comments and um, if you like the video consider giving a like thumbs up and if you are new to the channel kindly do the subscribe that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon